the most prominent ritual that people do in Shawwal is fasting the six days of Shawwal. Why? The Prophet said, والسلام, whoever fasts Ramadan, the whole month, and follows that with six days of Shawwal, Allah would reward him as if he had prayed, as if he had fasted the whole year. And another hadith, because one deed is multiplied to 10, so fasting six days of Shawwal is as if you had fasted 60 days, two months. And fasting Ramadan before that is as if you have fasted 10 months, and this is a full year. Now, one of the benefits of fasting the six days of Shawwal is that it compensates whatever shortcomings you had done during fasting Ramadan. And this is something well known in Sharia. Whatever things you miss in a fard, whatever voluntary you perform, would compensate for that which was missing. Now, there is an issue of dispute among scholars in regards to whether the fasting of the full Ramadan must be done before the six days of Shawwal or not. And the most authentic opinion is that you cannot fast 23 days of Ramadan, skipping six or seven days due to a legitimate reason such as traveling, falling sick, or having menses for women. And after Ramadan, you fast the six days of Shawwal. The most authentic opinion is that this is not permissible. You have to make up for the missed days of Ramadan so that you would have fulfilled fasting the whole month of Ramadan. And after that, you must, if you wish, fast the six days of Shawwal in order to fall under the category and under the reward of the Prophet ﷺ, that afterwards, meaning after fasting Ramadan, you follow that with six days of Shawwal, which means if you fasted 28, 25 days, you, you, can, you sh did not do that. And this is the fatwa of the permanent committee, that you cannot fast a missed Ramadan, follow that by six Shawwal, and attain the reward. You have to fulfill and complete it. So a frequently asked question, can we combine between making up of the missed days of Ramadan with the six days of Shawwal with one intention? So like, for example, I missed one day of Ramadan due to traveling. So in Shawwal, I fast one day with the intention of making up for the missed day of Ramadan Plus, it's a day from the six days of Shawwal. The answer is no. You cannot combine such intentions. You have to fulfill fasting of Ramadan entirely without a combination of intentions. Then you fast the six days alone and separately. Do I have to fast the six days of Shawwal in a row? The answer is no. You can break them. One day here, one day there, one day in the middle, one day at the end which means that you have the option even to combine the intention of six days of Shawwal with voluntary fasts. So if I select to fast Mondays and Thursdays with the intention of the six days of Shawwal, you get two birds with one stone. If I intend to fast the white days, 13th, 14th, and 15th of Shawwal, with the intention of the six days of Shawwal, this is no problem. What about if I happen to fast on a Saturday alone? This is an issue of dispute. The most authentic opinion is that you should fast a day before or a day after just to be safe. Though the hadith of pro the prohibition of isolating Saturday uh, in fasting this is disputed upon in the most authentic opinion that it is not authentic. But just to be safe rather than sorry, add to it a day before or a day after. A lot of the sisters complain and say that we have so many days to make up of Ramadan. And we have our own excuses 
in Shawwal, and we won't have enough time. So the answer would be, as Sheikh Ibn Uthaymeen said, may Allah have mercy on his soul. Let us assume that a woman gave birth in the month of Ramadan. Or let us assume that she had 14 days of menses in Ramadan. So she fasted 16 days. Shawwal was over, first day of Eid. She started from the second day of Shawwal and fasted, making up the 14 days. On the 15th of Shawwal, when she finished making up for Ramadan, she got her menses again for 10, 12, 13 days. And now, after she's pure, she has only two days to fast from Shawwal remaining. We say, fast these two days. And in the Qa'da, you can fast the other four days, and this would make up for the six days of Shawwal because you had a legitimate reason. And this is the fatwa of Ibn Uthaymeen, and it's also the fatwa of Sheikh Abdul Rahman ibn Nasr as Sa'di, because you had a legitimate reason. Those who are lazy and don't fast during the month of Ramadan, uh, do, do not fast during the month of Shawwal, and they're late and they want to make it up in the Qa'dah without a legitimate reason, there is not an excuse for them and this would not be legitimate.